Okay. Hi, I'm Val. I'm an instructor here at Delphi, and I'm going to do a demonstration today to show you how to decorate with stringer. Okay, so first we have to make our base bead. So I'm just going to make a basic white bead, hoping that the stringer will show up well on that. It really is much easier to have your stringer pulled and ready to use than it is to get your bead made and then decide you need a stringer and you don't have one. It's a little difficult to keep your bead warm and heat another rod and try to pull a stringer all at the same time. Okay. I'm just going to shape it. Okay, so once you have, your, have your, your base bead made, and then obviously you've got your stringers down here, I said, that we're going to use. Um, there's, a, there's several ways of using a stringer. I mean, you can use it to sort of paint a line or wiggle a line. Um, you use them to make dots. It's just a smaller diameter of a glass rod that allows you to be um, just a little more specific about. So um, one of the things about <clears throat> using a smaller diameter, though, is if I just put it in the flame, it's just going to kind of melt up into a ball. So the idea when you're using them to try to do a squiggle or paint with them is, you know, I'm going to get my bead warm, but I'm going to keep it under the flame a little bit, and then I'm going to come into this right side of the, of the flame itself. I don't go all the way in, and I'm just going to get it a little bit soft, and then I just kind of do a, it's kind of a in and out so that it allows me to keep the stringer on the, bead itself and not just squiggle and burn up and ball up and not have any kind of shape to it at all. So it's a little bit of a rhythm and it's a little bit of, like I say, in and out. If you just put this right in and try to do it, you can see it, it immediately balls up because it's such a small diameter. So after, after you get it, your painting, your little decoration on there, you want to give it some flame just because, you know, you don't want it sitting on the surface. You need to get both the bead surface and the, the stringer tacky so they stick. So in the side, sort of that. So I know we've done dots before, but just, you know, just to, you know, part of, it's part of decorating with stringers. So they're just, this is where we do ball it up, down and up onto the surface of the bead. And then if you want to leave all your texture raised, you just give it a little more heat so that it actually tacks to the surface, like I said before. Or if you would like to, you could just melt it so it melts all the way down in, too, to be smooth. But if you, we are going to leave them up, we'll just give them some good heat, get a little glow, and then take it out for a few seconds and into our needle. 